Good morning. Welcome to your daily dose of God time. So glad you could join today. Um, A couple of weeks ago, I had challenged you to write down on a sheet of paper, a blue sheet of paper, the name of the person that you're praying for in service. Um, Man, the response of that's been incredible. You know, and that's the person you're praying for and looking for opportunities to share Jesus with. Ezekiel 22, 30 says, And I searched for a man among them who should build up the wall and stand in the gap before me for the land that I should not destroy it, but I found no one. Here's the thing. There's many people in our lives that are going to be destroyed because no one is praying for them. Without question, prayer is both the easiest thing and the hardest thing to do in the Christian life. It's easy because it's simply talking to your father. A little child can do it without any training. It's hard because the devil fights to keep us off our knees. So why does your mind wander as soon as you start to pray? Because here's why. The devil is fighting to keep you from calling upon God. Why does five minutes in prayer seem like five hours? Because the devil is fighting you. Why do we even secretly think as we're praying? Is this even doing any good? Because when the devil is fighting you, trying to get you to quit and throw in the towel on prayer, it's difficult. But prayer is powerful. See, this is what Satan knows. Prayer changes things. The devil knows this and does his dead level best to keep you and me from praying. The course of your life, the lives of your friends, the loved ones, the lives of the nation, the lives of the world can be altered all by the power of prayer. And the Bible is filled with examples of this truth. God said he was going to destroy his people because of their sin and rebellion. But Moses interceded, and God responded to his prayer and did not destroy them. God said he was going to destroy Nineveh, but the people of Nineveh repented and fasted and prayed, and God responded to their prayer and did not destroy them. See, God is looking for men and women, boys and girls, who will call out to him, who will spend time on their knees for themselves and, yes, for others. And that verse in Ezekiel teaches so often, when God searches for prayer warriors, he finds no one. Surely God must scratch his head in amazement, thinking, why won't they pray to me? So here's the question. Will you pray? Prayer doesn't come easy for me. It's much easier for me to study an hour than pray for an hour. But prayer is exactly what I need to do. When I pray, I find the mind and heart of God on a matter. When I pray, I see what God is really what is really important. When I pray, God moves. The early church was a praying church, and as a result, they saw God work miracles. 3,000 were saved and baptized in one day. Wow. So pray. Pray. Just take your card. Take that person who you've been praying for and just pray. Pray that their mind might be open. Pray that their heart might be softened to the gospel. Pray that God would put people in their path. Oh, pray. Pray for your family. Pray for yourself. Pray for your friends. Pray for your coworkers. Pray for your students. But pray. Revival always begins with prayer. Let me pray for you today. Father, thank you. Father, I pray that you would send laborers to the harvest. And Father, that you would send them to the harvest on their knees. That we, Father, would be broken and burdened for those that are around us that need you. And that we, Father, would also be glorified in the fact that you are known. Thank you, Jesus, for loving us like that. Now, Father, help us to do the hard work of prayer. And lifting up to you, you said, Father, That if we abide in you and your word abides to us, in us, we can ask what we wish and it shall be done for us. We know that what your heart is, Father, you said, the Lord's not slack concerning, slow concerning slowness, but Father, you're long suffering to us, not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. So Father, thank you that you're not slow concerning your promise. But Father, would you now do your great work in the lives of these, my friends, in Jesus name, I pray. Amen. Well, I hope you have an incredible day. Love God. Love one another. Now go be salt and light.